Hi, I'm John with NYSERC. Today, I would like to walk you through one of the activities found in the NYSERC at Home Library. In this library, you will find activities sorted by grade appropriateness with instructions for each activity. This video is on the pig pen cipher activity. This activity touches on encryption and decryption, which are common tasks that all cybersecurity professionals must be familiar with. Though today's version is much, much, much simpler than current methods. This is an older, simpler form of encryption, but it still has important themes that are relevant today. Here's how it works. Start by observing the key. Notice that the alphabet is divided between two shapes, and each section of each shape contains two letters. Next, compare the symbols of your message. Notice that the first symbol has the same shape as the section containing the letters G and H. This means this symbol represents one of these two letters. But how do you know which one to use? If a symbol can, includes a mark within it, then it represents the second letter found in that shape. If there is no mark, then it represents the first letter found in that shape. In this message, the first symbol contains a mark, which means that I must use the second letter, H. The second symbol has the same shape as the EF section of the key, but contains no mark. This means this symbol represents the first letter, E. Continue until you have completed decrypting your message. Here are some discussion questions for you to consider. What kinds of messages would it be important to encrypt before sending? Can you write a message to a friend or a family member using the pigpen cipher? Teach them how to decode the message and see if they can write a note back to you. Last, try creating your own cipher so that you can send coded messages to your friends that only they can understand. We hope you enjoy this activity. To find more, visit us at nicerc.org.